There are those that have got the idea that all God requires of his children is to do the best they can. It might be a popular opinion and gratifying to the flesh, but it's not true. In Micah chapter 6 and verse 8 it says, He hath showed thee, O man, what is good. And what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. You can't say that I don't know. I haven't got clear direction because here, here it is. He hath showed thee, O man, what doth the Lord require of thee? So it's not a hidden secret. It is something that God hath showed thee. Now, what has he shown us concerning his requirements? Well, first of all, we are to do justly. Now, the idea there is that something that stands straight in spite of all the pressures that are placed upon it to make it bend. In other words, it speaks about integrity. It speaks about honesty. You see, the child of God not only talks about justice, but he does justly. In other words, he does fairly to others around him and acts in that way in his dealings with other people. It has been said that justice is thinking what is right, feeling what is right, wanting what is right, speaking what is right, and doing what is right. In the book of Zephaniah, in the chapter 3, verse 5, it says, The just Lord is in the midst of law. He will not do iniquity. So justice here is linked with holiness. And therefore, the child of God who professes godliness must live godly and must practice justice or acting fairly. Then he loves mercy. Now, to love mercy means that we love it dearly. We, we cherish it. It's not a burden to us. It's a joy to us. We love to show mercy. You know, some people have said that believers can be as straight as a concrete column, but equally as cold and hard. And friend, that ought not to be. God's child, he should be a person who is never too busy to listen to someone in need and never unwilling to help. Another word for that mercy is kindness. And it's absolutely amazing what one act of kindness can do to help a brother or sister along the road and lift a heavy burden. The Lord Jesus said, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. The word blessed is happy. And God's people ought to be happy in showing acts of kindness to others. But we've got to be very careful because there are those who say, well, if I act with kindness, does that mean that I'm going to merit something in the sight of God and get to heaven through those acts of kindness? No, the Bible says in Titus 3, it is not of works of righteousness that we have done, but according to his mercy, his mercy, he saved us. So when we are saved, we will show mercy and we will love mercy, but we're not saved by being merciful. But then we're to walk with our God. Now the word idea with walk is closeness. If you're invited to walk with the Queen, you would be highly honoured. But what an honour it is to walk with God. You remember Peter stepped out of the boat and then he began to sink and he cried out to the Lord and he said, Lord save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and he caught him. And then the Bible tells us that the Lord and Peter walked together over the billows through the winds till they got to the boat and all was well. Then there came a time when the Lord Jesus was taken to Caiaphas' house and it says this, Peter followed him afar off. Are you walking closely with the Lord today or afar off? The idea of walking the Bible says, can two walk together except to be agreed? In other words, there has to be a surrender of your will to God's will. Walking in agreement with God. Walking is the idea of progress going forward. Are you going on with God in your Christian pathway? It also speaks of fellowship. 
If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship the one with the other. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. But you're to walk humbly with thy God. In other words, recognize that he must have the first place in everything. You see, pride demands first place. But we have got to be willing to walk with him and follow him. Enoch walked with God and the Lord took him. Noah walked with God and God preserved him through the floods. And friend, you walk with God and one day you'll walk with him in white. What a glorious prospect for the child of God. Obey his requirements and walk with him today. Heavenly Father, bless thy word to our hearts in Jesus' precious name. Amen. From my heart to yours, home to yours, God bless you.